Imposter by John Morton. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Imposter by John Morton, one of the tricks people talk a lot about at Blackpool. If you haven't been here before as well, please subscribe, give the video a like and a share. Really helps us out and really gets us going. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers, which isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things, would be huge for us. So if you can help us out, we really would appreciate that. Today we're talking about a trick that I picked up at Blackpool. It was the first thing I got. I got to Blackpool on the Friday when the doors had opened, went straight in, straight to John Morton's boot and bought this. It might be rattling a bit on the mic, but this is imposter. This is the actual carrying case that comes in. We'll go through all that in a minute. But this is the first thing I bought. I was super excited about it. And I'm super happy to be talking about it now. So let's get into the first thing. You've bought imposter when it's back in stock, hopefully soon. You buy imposter, what you get? When you get imposter, you've seen it, this is what you get. So this is a little carrying case. So it's, it's quite hard. You're not going to worry about that. You can draw it in your pocket, in your bag, wherever your close-up case, and carry that ring with you. And then inside the case is you get the actual tube that you use during performance, which is this one. So this one now is more of a cardboardy feel. So that's why it's good to have the hard sort of outer shell casing that you can carry it in. And then if I open it up inside here, inside here you get the five sticks that you have. So if I go through them here, you can see these are the five sticks and the red one at the end is the one that would be the murderer or the liar or whatever you want the secret to be or depending on performance. That's what you get, it all fits in. Nice like that and then after the show, drop it back in here. Pop this on top, into your close-up case wherever you go. That's fine. You get a nice little graphics card type thing as well inside there. And, of course, you get a card which on the back of this has the link to the instructions. So that's everything you get when you order Imposter by John Morton. Really nicely. I really like this hard outside casing because the inner one being more of that sort of cardboardy tube that you'd usually expect. This one has, I'm not even sure what it's made of. It's got kind of like a textured bit in the top and then the sides are all smooth i really like it I like how it fits together and everything that you can put that in your inside jacket pocket but if you want perfect for that sort of thing that can in your close-up case for you so when actually do five minutes at the end of the show absolutely perfect for that because you can mix it around with it but now we're going to move on to the instructions so when you go to the back of this go to the link the instructions we're going to be talking about that when you go to the link for the instructions for imposter it Loads up the page with all of the custom magic um, sort of products. And you go to Imposter and type in your password. And you get a page of text. So it's just text-based instructions on the website with a sort of basic understanding of how it works and a description of a routine that you can do this kind of like a murder mystery type performance and also how to have a prediction at the end. So at the end of the thing, you can predict that you knew who it would be from the very beginning, which a lot of people might see in the performance footage, which again, there is a link to the performance footage of uh, Matt performing this at a, a show where you get to see all the performance of it there. So you get to see that all in the bottom. That's the only video, the rest is text, but it's really well explained, really gone through it. To be honest, I only checked out the instructions recently and um, just before this, so I can actually answer it to you because I have my own routine that I'd use in that sort of Max Maven, Kurosaki sort of performance. So I wanted that, uh, it's for that, so I had my own routine, so I wasn't sure. Um, I didn't need anything else like that, and it's super easy to understand how to use it once you get the device in your hand. So I actually only went to the instructions like <laughs> about a few minutes before recording this. So it's there if you need it, and it has a routine if you're not someone who has performed that sort of oddball type routine or the Max Maven moment, whichever it is for you. That's all there, and you can really get into it in the performance. And I really like the prediction element, so I might be adding that into my one as well, because that's really clever. So that's all there. The instructions, very simple, text-based, few images that you can save as well if you want to make up the prediction yourself. But it's quite simple, just a text-based instructions with a live performance video. So now we're going to move on to whether or not this is difficult. This is one of those routines where, from a mechanics point of view, it is super simple. It is pretty much self-working. You hold the tube in your hand behind your back. If people take out the tubes, you know who's got the red one. It's just, you just know who it is, and you can perform it. So that's where it's like, it's super easy to do. 
the hard thing I think with this would be the presentation. I really like the presentation that John provides. Um, so if you can take the full script that's there for you and go and perform it and feel confident with that. But it really is the hard thing with this is doing a really good performance. Um, so if you're a confident performer, it's going to fit you perfectly. If you haven't performed on stage, that sort of stuff before, or even want to do this sort of thing close up, there's a script there for you, so you should be fine going with it. But that's the only difficult thing because the mechanics of how it works is simple. So easy, self-working, hold the tube, you know who has it, job done. So now we're going to move on to the frequently asked questions. There are two frequently asked questions that I've seen coming up with this. One of them I think most people know already about whether there's any electronics in this. There's no electronics. It's very straightforward. You don't need any electronics, nothing like that. It's all just as it is. It's a more of a mechanical thing than anything else. So that's there. So there's no electronics you need to worry about anything like that. And the other question I've seen about this is, does it has to be done on stage? I think because of the size of it, like this is it in its outer casing. So like in the inner casing, it's so small that that could fit in your pocket. Be very easy to carry around with you close up. And especially if you're in that sort of, if you want to do this at a large table, you can walk around the table, let people take them on one side of the table, and then you stand on the other side, and you can do that quite well. I think it could work in a sort of drinks reception area if you want to kind of like pull a few groups together and do a semi parallel show type thing. So I can't see this work in, a, in that sort of close environment for me personally. I, I'm just going to have it for a stage because that's where I prefer doing those sort of routines. But you could definitely perform this close up if you wanted to. It's nothing for people to see. It's very easy self working routine that you could do if you wanted to if you know how you would perform a close-up there's no reason why you can't so those are the frequently asked questions i've seen if you have any questions yourself please comment them down below i'll try to answer them as best i can without going any exposure but please comment down below and i will try to help you as much as possible so now we're going to move on to if there's anything i didn't like again i'm struggling to try and find something that i didn't like with this so it's one of those um things that i had a fair idea of what i was looking at when i was getting it um that sort of idea so there was nothing really that like shocked me about it the only thing i sometimes i do like video instructions so the lack of video instructions could be something so i do sometimes think people who are visual learners can find hard reading text but because it's so easy to do i can see why you don't really need it that much but that would be the only sort of situation for me is maybe some video instructions would have been nice as an extra so now we're going to move on to my rating for anyone who's watched the channel before you know my rating it's not zero to ten it's not zero to a hundred it's where would this go so for me this is immediately going into my stage case i have a briefcase that has my full stage act in there and this is going right in there that's where it came from shake it out for here so it's in there ready to go i've had other routines like this i've used oddball i've used even just a magnetic detector to have to do these sort of routines but having this is going to replace them. This is my new way of doing that routine. I'm going to be doing it all the time. It's going straight in. I have uh, some shows coming up that I'm going to be doing it at. I'm super excited to try it. So it's going in to my case. It's going to be number one out the door. Very happy with it. So but this is going straight into my working repertoire. And that is my rating. So now let's sum this up and get out of here. So those are my thoughts on Imposter by John Morton. Again, if you have any questions, please comment down below. Let me know. For me, this is my purchase of Blackpool that I think is my favourite. Picked up a few things over, over the Blackpool. You might have seen some reviews of some other things that I got there as well. But this was the thing that I was the most excited about getting there to pick up. That's why I bought it first thing, second the dealers opened straight and bought it. And I'm not disappointed in the slightest. I absolutely love it. I love how clever it is. I love performing it. It's got that sort of like itch is the magician sort of thing of that like, oh, I love it. I'm really excited about performing this. I love the carrying case. I know I talked about a lot, but that was so unnecessary for a sort of thing. You could see these sort of things being sold as just the tube itself, and the tube gets bashed, and you're disappointed you need to get a new one. But this is just above and beyond, really, but makes it that professional tool that you want. So I'm just I absolutely love it. I hope you enjoy it too if you pick one up. And hopefully they're back in stock soon and people can get their hands on them again. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. We've got some great podcasts coming up soon over the next few weeks. So make sure you check them out. And we'll see you all again next time.